no sweet thing. <laughs> you seen what I'm seeing, boys? I got eyes. I'd like to get me some of that. <laughs> I know I'm not allowed to touch, but there's no law against dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a better look. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Uh, my friends and I were just, uh, wondering if, um, you could get out of the way, you're blocking the big TV. <laughs> is so beautiful, I wish I could take her home with me. Bill, I'm not married, but is this what love feels like? Yeah, except with this, you can turn it on and fall asleep without getting yelled at. Three grand, that's some love I can't afford. No, guys, I got a little surprise for you. This is the floor model with a beautiful little scrape right on the side. So with our employee discount, this is only like a thousand bucks. I can't believe I blew my last paycheck on brakes for my car. <laughs> thousand bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I was actually thinking about buying it myself, but uh, I'm kind of saving up to get that tattoo on my back colored in. So you're gonna buy it? Nah, even at that price, Judy would never go for it. Which isn't fair, because I work damn hard for my money. Customer needs assistance in bathroom fixtures? Not it. Not it! <laughs> I got a surprise for you. I rented your favorite movie. Terms of endearment? I rented your second favorite movie. <laughs> Fried green tomatoes? I rented a movie. Uh, St. Elmo's Fire. Oh, I love that movie. You do know it's not about a big fire, right? I know. It's about a group of college graduates. They thought they'd be friends forever, but forever couldn't last. Brief nudity, yes. So, what's with the chick flick? Well, I saw this, and it reminded me of the time we went to see it at the theater. I remember looking at you and thinking, this is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Oh, Bill, that is so sweet. God, our TV is so small. <laughs> I knew it. What? You want a new television? No, that'd be crazy. I want a slightly damaged floor model, and uh, with my employee discount, they're practically paying me to take it. Oh, how much are they paying you? Negative a thousand dollars. Well, we can't spend that kind of money. I knew you were gonna say that, so I've come up with a complete solution for this entire problem. Bill, it's not gonna come to you. I know. Listen, when it comes to our financial decisions, we both have to agree on everything. All right, all in favor of buying the TV, raise your hand. That doesn't count! Oh, looks like somebody's regretting the vote they already cast. Right out! All right, fine. Let's just watch the tiny little movie. Hey, hey, Linda. What are you guys up to? Watching a movie. Ooh, St. Elmo's Fire. Andrew McCarthy and Rob Lowe. Rare! Love to be the meat in that sandwich. I'm guessing that bread would have to be awfully toasted. Want beer? Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, Bill, there's a spider on your pants! Where? 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 Oops, my mistake. Uh, but now that you're up, can you get us some beer? Uh, what a night. No new TV, crappy movie, bag of jelly beans I ate on the way home, really creating problems. Judy, okay. Here's uh, half the money that you loaned me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? I'm just paying Judy back. Judy loaned you money? Oh, but that can't be possible, because that'd be a financial decision I would have been a part of. Hey, Bill, look, there's nudity. <laughs> so, you loaned her money without telling her. Bill, it's an emergency. She needed a new transmission. And besides, she's going to pay us back when she gets her bonus next week. Yeah, like I always do. Oh, Linda. Like you always do. Okay, now I get it. There's a loophole in our money rules, and it's about, uh, ooh, this big. Bill, there's a big difference in spending money on a television and loaning money to someone in an emergency. Yeah, like when I had that big date and I had to get my teeth whitened. Will you please shut up? <laughs> When you spend money, it's different than when you loan money. When you spend it, you, you never see it again. When you loan it, you get it back. That's why they call it a loan. Oh, a loan. 
Like how you make our financial decisions, alone. Okay, Bill, I get your point. Fine. You know what? I'm going to the bar, I'm going to have a few beers, and I'm not going to ask you if I can buy them. I'm going to make that financial decision alone. <laughs> Twenty bucks in my purse. Thanks. <laughs> Judy and I decided we can't buy the TV. What's the matter? Mommy wouldn't let you buy it. No, Judy and I came to a mutual decision that it would be irresponsible. <clears throat> no, mommy won't let him buy it. <laughs> because I let her not let me buy it. Ooh, you're so tough when you're doing what you're told. <laughs> you see, this is why you don't marry the pretty ones. They tell you what to do. You marry a woman with bad skin and thick ankles, she'll carry that TV home for you. Man, this TV belongs in one of our places. Yeah, every Sunday we could get together, watch the game. Well, you know, I've got 600 bucks in my tattoo fund. I know I could get 100 bucks for my car, but that still leaves me like $300 short. I'm not gonna have that kind of scratch until next week, unless I get a loan. Wait, 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 did you just say a loan? Of course, that's exactly what you're gonna get. Are you kidding? I'd never qualify. Well, that's because you've never been to the Bank of Bill, my friend. Is that near the strip club on Halsted? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. See, as someone once told me, when you spend money, it's gone. But when you loan money, it comes back. Ah. I'm lost. <laughs> I loan you the money to buy the TV, and I get to come over to your place to watch it anytime I want. Huh. You sure that's gonna be all right with Mommy? Hey, I'm the man of the house, because I'm taking the rules she laid down and twisting them to suit my needs. <laughs> wow, you know, you guys up in bathroom fixtures are pretty sharp. Our motto is, we're number one. And number two. <laughs> <laughs> Lost again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mom, what is going on? The water in the shower was so cold, I nearly jumped out of my skin. That's because the hot water heater broke this morning, Lauren. Did you see the sign I put on the bathroom door? What sign? Oh, put this on the bathroom door. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do now? Okay, after dinner, I'll boil you some water. You can take a bath. What are we, frontier people? <laughs> yeah, now go upstairs before we marry you off. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you're home. Yeah, it's comforting when the man of the house walks through the door. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why are you glad I'm home? Wait, wait. Why are you the man of the house? Well, I'm glad you asked, because today I exercised my power of financial freedom. Oh, please tell me you did not buy that TV. Of course not, because as you explained to me, when you spend money, you don't get it back. But when you loan money... What did you do? <laughs> I loaned the money to Jeff from Electronics to buy the TV, which, per our conversation last night, only requires one vote. Ding! But Bill, what if something breaks and we need to come up with cash real quick? Well, that's not gonna happen, Miss Doom and Gloom. You got nothing. Well, you got me. Honey, would you do me a favor and put some hot water in that pot over there? Sure. You're darn right I got you. Because I found a way to enjoy the pleasures of the big screen without spending any money. You are a super-duper genius. Tell me more. Sounds like someone's a little jealous because I beat them at their own game. This isn't really about the money, is it, Judy? It's about power. Who has it and who wants it. How's that water coming? That's still not hot. So, now I have the power to watch football every Sunday at Jeff's house on a big screen that costs us, uh, let me add it up, zero dollars. And we all live happily ever after. Mm, that's a cute little story, Bill. Hey, I've got a story for you. Today the water heater broke. The end. Water heater broke? Yes, you could stop doing that. So, in conclusion, who here thinks Bill made a stupid decision? Ding! I can't believe the water heater broke. Yeah, and it needs to be replaced, so you gotta go to Jeff and get that money back. Well, why don't you go get the money back from Linda? I did, but it's not enough for a new water heater. All right, I'll just fix the one we already have. I am the man of the house. Oh, Bill, you are not a fixer. That's not true. I fixed the railing on the basement stairs, and I'll fix that water heater. Oh! Oh! 
damn great. I'll get the money back from Jeff. Uh, hey, Carl. Didn't know you were working today. I'm not. My cable's out. Uh, why are you wearing your work blazer? Because I don't want to look like a loser standing here watching cartoons on my day off. You, uh, have you seen Jeff? No way, man. Sick people gross me out. What? Oh, you didn't hear? Jeff broke his pelvis trying to move that big TV he bought. He's flat on his back at his mother's place. He broke his pelvis? That's horrible. Yeah, real horrible. Guy gets to lie in bed for two months watching a big screen TV while people attend to his pelvis. And if you're not familiar with the pelvis, it's in this area. What's he gonna do for money? You know, food, rent, the paying back of loans. I took up a collection for him. That's great, Carl. How much you got? Looks like a couple bucks. Oh, come on. You gotta do better than this. Yeah, well, people don't exactly dig deep when you mention the name Jeff Hackman. Wait, wait a minute. That's Jeff Hackman? Oh, my God. I loaned money to Hackman, never pay you back, man. You know how he got that nickname? Shut up. Is the bath water warm yet? Almost. You know, this stinks. How much longer is the water heater gonna be out? I don't know. Could be another day. You know, I heard you and Dad talking about finances. I have a computer program that could help you. Hey, wait a minute. That's not a bad idea. How much do you think we could get for your computer? <laughs> Hi. Oh, God, that's not... I've got the money to solve your problems, hi. No, but I brought you flowers. You spent money on flowers? No, somebody sent them to Jeff. <laughs> Why are people sending Jeff flowers? Is Jeff dead? No. He did kind of break his pelvis. What? How? Getting the TV home. So I'm guessing you didn't get the money. What is the matter with you? A man's pelvis has been crushed, and all you can think about is the money. Sometimes, Judy, you make me so angry. This whole thing with you pretending to be the angry one never works, Bill. That makes me so mad. <laughs> Go on, Bill. At this point, I'm just in it for the show. You know what? I was thinking about this on the way home. Why don't we have the money? What are you saying? Well, you're the one who handles all the bills around here, and you're so sure we're out of money. You know what? I'm a professional businessman. I bet if I took a look at our books, I could find an extra couple of hundred bucks. Oh, you couldn't find a couple of hundred bucks in a pile of a couple of hundred bucks. All right, bring it on. Or are you afraid I'm going to find all your hidden money? Oh, come on, Bill. Let's go on a hunt for all the hidden money. This should be fun. Let's start with the blue folder. Oh, the blue folder. Golly, sure hope I can understand it. <laughs> okay, this is our monthly bank statement. This is what we make every month, and this is what we spend. Oh, well, we make more than we spend. That's good news. Well, it would be if we didn't have the red folder. Okay, already I can see we would save money by having one less folder. <laughs> That's good, Bill. Put the 39 cents in your collar. All right, then. We use the red folder to hold the bills that we're juggling, like this bill. The credit card debt. Wow. What idiot gave us that much credit? Then there are the incidentals, the doctor's bill, the dentist bill, student activity fees, dance class, field trips. Then there's the bills we pay every month, the mortgage, the phone, the gas, and car insurance. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. I'm out. And this month is very tough, Bill, because the car needed new tires, the property tax was due, and now you see why you can't go lending people money. Uh, but you loaned money to Linda. What if something had happened to her? She could have been hit by a car or pushed under a train <laughs> or gored by two bulls that were running at each other head on or plummeted. I uh, see so you've given this a lot of thought. Sometimes it's hard for me to fall asleep at night. My point is, Bill, this stuff is hard and I'm on my own. Whenever I bring up our finances, you're always blah, 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 blah. Judy, in my defense, that's just because all this stuff is boring and hard. That's right, Bill, it is. But I do it for us. And if you're going to give me the responsibility, then you can't complain about it. On the other hand, I should have talked to you first before I loaned Linda money. Thank you. You're welcome. And we're agreed I never have to look at the blue folder again. Yes. <laughs> now, we got to go get our money back from Jeff. I don't think Jeff has any money. Well, maybe not, but he's got a big screen TV that's one third ours and a receipt. Now, let's go. Oh, you are so smart. Why did you marry me? Because booze goes right to my head. <laughs> hey, 
Evening. I'm, I'm Bill Miller. This is my wife, Judy. I, I work with your son. We just wanted to come by and see how he's doing. Oh, that's so sweet of you. We just love Jeff. <laughs> well, he's a little loopy right now, what with all the medication, so you'll have to bear with him. Come on in. We uh, bought him some flowers. Oh, thank you. How thoughtful. Well, it's the least we could do for our dear, dear friend, Jeff. How long have you known my son? Is he sleeping? Yes, I think so. Fifteen years. So you knew him when he was with Annie? Oh, yeah, Annie. Good thing he got rid of her, huh? She died. Oh. Well, when someone dies, you, you, you don't want to keep them around. Maybe we should get these in some water. Yeah, I'll go find a vase. Okay, I'll go distract the old lady while you shake down the sick guy. Oh my God, how low have we sunk? There's my guy. Hey, Jeff. Bill. Hey, Bill. 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 Words taste like peaches today. Hey, uh, hey where's the TV? Oh, it's over at my place. I had a heck of a time getting it in there. I'm surprised I didn't hurt myself. This might not be the best time to ask, but our water heater busted, and I need the money I loaned you to pay the plumber. 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 Plumer. 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 <laughs> that one tastes like kumquats. Jeff, look, I'm sorry, but I need to return the TV for the money. OK, man, do whatever you got to do. Whatever. Great, great, great. I'm going to need your house keys and your receipt. Mm. Track my pocket. You're not wearing pants, are you? No, I'm not. Pants <laughs> are over there. Oh, great. Right this way, honey. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just such a neat freak. <laughs> Come this way. Hey, guess what, Phil? Apparently, I I'm the same size as Annie, and Mrs. Hackman's going to give me a couple of bags of her old clothes. <gasps> I think you better try them on first. <laughs> Is the receipt in your wallet, Jeff? Jeff, Jeff! Bill! <laughs> hey, buddy. What's happening? I need to find the receipt. OK, man, here. Give me my wallet. I'll look for it. Wait, first, take my mittens off. <laughs> oh, thank you. <sighs> Don't lose those. All right. <sighs> Okay, here you go. That's your driver's license. I'm sorry, officer. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> Give me the wallet. Maybe I can find it. Bill, come here. Come here. Did you hear what happened to Jeff? Mm. You're Jeff. I am? Uh, that means I'm the guy who broke his... Ah! <laughs> Keep it down. What are you doing? Why do you have his wallet and keys? Uh... <laughs> My husband was angry because I loaned my sister some money, so he gave some money to Jeff to buy the TV. And now our water heater broke, so we need that money back. Could you please help us? Oh, sure. God, yeah. Let me get my checkbook. Oh. Really? No. <laughs> now get the hell out of my house. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. No, no you're Jeff. I am? That means I'm the guy that broke his... Ah! <laughs> All right, we're leaving. Well, the bright side, at least we didn't take advantage of a drugged out guy laid up in a hospital bed. Oh, but we tried. <laughs> but we didn't. Maybe God has given us this opportunity to do the right thing. Hey, guys. Hey, Carl, what are you doing here? Oh, I just came by to give Jeff the collection I took up for him. Oh, well, looks like you got quite a bit of cash there. Yeah, I took off Jeff's name and taped on a picture of a three-legged dog. Good thinking. Yeah. I better go in. Oh, hey, you, you might want to wait a minute. They're changing Jeff's bedpan. Oh, gross. Hey, could you take it in for me? Sure. Thanks. You're a friend. Hell? Uh, maybe God got a whiff of us and decided to cut us a break. We have to at least try to give it to him. OK, then. Will and Judy again. 
God has spoken. I'm good. <laughs> Make me